Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa Smith. Um, this is my presentation over Roscoe Turner for my Aerospace 1010 class taught by Dr. G at Middle Tennessee State University. So right here is a picture of the Roscoe Turner with his adorable lion named Gilmore, which I will get to more about later. So one of the most important things about Roscoe Turner is his looks. He was famous, very famous for his waxed mustache. He always had a pristine mustache that looked flawless because to Turner, um, his, barn, his fellow barnstormers looked like tramp and grease monkeys, and he wanted aviation to instill confidence in people. And to do that, he always wore a uniform and had a nice mustache going for him at all times. So as part of his early life, he was born September 29th, 1895 in Corn, Mississippi. So he was born in literally the 19th century. He became a free balloon pilot February 22nd, 1918. And after serving his time in Europe during World War I, he received flight training. And that's how he actually became a barnstormer. So he began with flying a uh, Jenny airplane during the early 1920s. And then with barnstorming, what that actually is, is going around and doing shows for people. And he only stopped doing it when it stopped paying the bills. So his time in Hollywood, he was actually a pretty famous guy from all the barnstorming he was doing, going around town to town. So in 1928, he worked as a stunt pilot in the movie, Hell in the movie Hell's Angels, produced by Howard Hughes. He worked as a stunt pilot for many movies after, such as The Phantom of the Air and Air Hawks. And then he finally portrayed himself in the movie Flight at Midnight, which was released in 1939. So the Gilmore the Lion is that little lion right there. So in the 1930s, Turner had a sponsorship with Gilmore Oil Company. So in, to, pro to promote the company, Turner purchased the Lion Cup, born February 7th, 1930, and they began flying together that April. He only had him for nine months, but um, in order to fly with him, uh, he had to make a tiny parachute and harness for Gilmore, so that way PETA wouldn't come out after him. Um, but during that nine months they flew with him, they logged over 25,000 miles. Gilmore passed away about 20 years later, and now he and Roscoe Turner got him taxidermied, and now his remains are in the Smithsonian. So Roscoe Turner is very famous for how fast he flew. Uh, he won the Benedict's Bendix Transcon Transcontinental Race in 1933 because he set a record from New York to LA with a time of 11 hours and 30 minutes in his Waddell Williams 44 airplane. He won the Thompson Tur Trophy Race in 1934, 38, and 39, and he would have won in 33 as well, but unfortunately he missed one of the markers and the rules said he had to go back and get it on that lap, but he got on the next lap instead so he was disqualified even though he had the fastest time um he received a henderson trophy in 33 38 and 39 and the Harmon trophy in 32 and 38 and he is other than one other pilot he is the only pilot to ever have received both the bendix and the thompson trophy so some of his accomplishments include that he was on he was the on the cover of time magazine on october 29th 1934 he also earned a Distinguished Flying Cross on August 14, 1952. It was his first time a civilian was given this award in over 20 years, before it was just mainly given to military pilots. Um, he received American Lingu Legion Distinguished Citizens Award and Distinguished Nat National Veterans Award in 1969, and he was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in 1975. Part of his legacy is that he helped to organize Nevada Airlines in 1929, and then he also created his own airlines called Turner Airlines in 1949. But unfortunately, due to lack of investors, they had to sell the company. But overall, after a bunch of merges, it became USA Air. And then on April 2nd, 1961, an airport in Corinth, Mississippi was renamed to Roscoe Turner Airport. And I've actually flown to that airport before, which is how I've learned about him in the first place. Uh, and these are my references.